Hello Internet, welcome to brand new episode of NSG 2.1 uh, Learning. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to make a brand new heterogeneous network from scratch. So this is going to be very important and very interesting. So let us begin. Uh, we already have NSG 2.1 installed on the system. Uh, if you want the installation instructions, you can refer to my previous video where I uh, tell you how to do that. Uh, but currently we have this package already installed on the system. Mm, this is by the name of nsg2.1.jar. You can download it from um, any of the mirror sites. So once you have this package, installed on your system you are ready to um, make mm, simulation scenarios for wireless and wired networks we are, we are going to make a wired simulation scenario and that to a heterogeneous network a nice one so stay tuned all right the first instruction would be to run nsg 2.1 for that we need to write java minus jar nsg2.1.jar here we go so this is the interface of nsg2.1 and this is where I have downloaded it from http sites.google.com site slash pengjongbu slash msg but it doesn't matter from where you download it this this is how it's going to look like it's a very simple software it has its front end designed in java but yet very powerful so let's start the if you want to draw a new scenario, a new simulation setup, you need to go to scenario and we are going to select new scenario, new wire wired scenario. Okay. Now you got a blank space here where you would made your own network. So we have node, link, agent, application, parameters, and TCL. I'm going to explain each one of them in detail. Uh, we first have to make um, make a simulation scenario in our mind so that uh, how many nodes do we need and how and when they are going to connect to each other and so on and so forth. So I have a simulation scenario which is heterogeneous in network. That means it is going to carry both UDP and TCP traffic. So I make two nodes which are going to be source and then they are going to forward their packets to node 2 which is the third node and it is going to send the packets to node 3 which will further distribute it to node 4 and 5. So what I want to do is I want to make node 0 as the UDP traffic source and I want to make the sync of that UDP traffic source to be node 4. I want to make N1 as the TCP traffic source and I want to s uh, terminate that traffic at node 5. So this is going to be the sync for TCP. So that is how you make nodes. It's as simple as that. And if you want to delete any of the nodes, you can just right click on it and click on delete. Okay, nothing too serious about it. So once we have made the nodes, the next step is to go to the next button on the top, which is link. Again, very important thing. Uh, <laughs> there is this spell mistake. Uh, we have we have to select the nodes in order to make links between them. Now once a link is made, uh, you know the properties of that link from the top, the link type, the queue type. You can select a whole lot of queue management techniques 
on this link we we are going to go with drop tail today the capacity of the link which is 100 mb is too large a capacity propagation delay in milliseconds q size gan 50 is too large okay giving a duplex link how simple is that all right the second step is done I made that link before I made the changes on the top so I can do it here simply right click on the node and click on setup okay once you have done that the next step is to go to the next button on the top which is agent okay I want to attach a UDP agent here so I'm going to select a UDP agent and let us say a thousand byte packet size and I click on there very simple and then I want to make this node as the traffic source for the TCP based traffic and I click on the node and click outside the blank space and this has created a TCP based traffic source on node 1 good now I want to make node 4 as the sink or the null of the UDP traffic so I would select a null and, it, and I'm going to attach it to node 4 and then a TCP sync I'm going to attach it to node 5 so basically what is happening is I would try to send traffic from node 0 to node 4 and node 1 to node 5 and they both are going to use one common link that is node 2 to node 3 okay then so we're done with this button on the top also so we proceed on to the next one which is application again very important now we need to attach application layer protocol on top of this transport layer protocol we have chosen UDP as the transport layer protocol so let me attach FTP here oh I'm sorry let me attach CDR here okay me specify this time start time to be 5 seconds packet size is 1000 is it is 1 or are you gonna you can change it from here also it's set up same thing which you see on the top can be obtained by clicking by right clicking on the CDR dot and then click on clicking on setup um good now we go to tcp and i'm going to attach ftp on that mm, click on setup and i'll set the start time as one bit one millisecond i'm sorry um then we go to udp and go back to link okay so you need to go to agent and then you need to specify a link between the source and the destination this is very important you just go to agent and click on the two um, agents
regions which you want to connect so for example if I want to connect my TCP 1 to sync 3 so I click on TCP 1 and then I click on sync 3 they are connected now they may follow whatever rules they want but yes they are connected now so this was very very important now we go to the second to the last uh, <coughs> second to the last button on the top which is parameters okay the simulate total simulation time bottle trace file so you want to generate I think uh, we can go with the default let's click on done and then finally if you click on the TCL button you'll get the surprise of your lifetime you get the TCP file uh, I'm sorry the TCL file ready with you ready to use how cool is that great now you can save this file uh, let me just save this file in, in my home folder by the name of tutorial 11 save click on t11.tcl alright so that is how you make a wired simulation scenario uh, now let's run this we can close the NSG now and okay we've got t11 dot tcl that we want to run that is super awesome okay we've specified the UDP traffic to start why is it not starting let's just see if it starts at one millisecond okay yes it has I think we didn't make the changes but um, as you can see uh, all right uh, we do not see different colors for the two kinds of traffic let let me just close this and make some changes in this TCL file so let me just go to this file and I am going to write two colors okay I don't know why I'm selecting purple these days I guess I'm paying tribute to Prince okay the second color could be anything let me just select a more brighter color and let me just attach this color to my UDP this has become important because we were not able to see what traffic was going into what node okay so I have attached the purple color to UDP and I am going to attach the yellow color to TCP one. 
okay looks like it should do good now let's run the simulation file again That is how you can make a simulation real easy and real fun. Alright. So the traffic from node 0 is going to node 4. And the traffic from node 1 is going to node 5. Looks like it is working fine, just fine. Looks like it is working just fine. Okay, um, I'm going to see you uh, with a wireless scenario uh, in my next tutorial. Until then, take care and bye-bye. And yes, if this tutorial helped, click on the like, subscribe, and do comment. Have a nice day. Bye.